Hey guys, here we are in Florissant. She's looking at replacing the furnace and air conditioner. Um, so first thing, if you guys, let's, let's um, get rid of that vent uh, in there. Um, so we're in a little tight compartment back here and she's got a water heater in the way. You're probably more than likely gonna have to remove the water heater to get this uh, in here. I've got the dimensions of the return drop, so we're going to replace that. Um, uh, she's probably going to go back with an 80% furnace, so the flue pipe is real simple that we're doing here. The gas line looks good. Back here, although she does not have a shutoff sticking on the outside, so we're going to have to put a shutoff on, a gas shutoff. Um, I'll show you what all this looks like. So there is room. I think you're going to have to take this furnace and move it back and move it to the left um, and part of the reason why is just being able to pull this filter out because it's real close to whether or not the filter will get out so if you guys can move it back just a little bit uh, the, the Freon lines are real simple so they run from here up overhead and they actually go right out the back right here so you got less than 15 feet of the Freon lines there I think that's about it. Oh, the drain line. So the drain line is in plastic pipe, and right now it's running from back here down and into a floor drain right here. So if you guys could put that in PVC pipe, then you go back. So that's pretty much everything. Let's give you one more look at it. Let's see what you're getting into. Appreciate it. Thanks.